What's up, fellas? You are now tuned in to the Trick Lessons Podcast. And I am your host, Sir Tricks a Lot, the number one trick on the internet. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. And make sure that you share this video because some of you brothers need to hear it um, as related to the topic I'm going to do right now. So, as you guys saw, um, my video about uh, the OnlyFans bubble uh, got put back up. It's taken down initially because somebody reported it. Like I said, I'm guessing it was either OnlyFans or some uh, some triggered broad who reported it. But what I found funny about that day was that the same exact day a somewhat prominent youtuber i'll just name him a better bachelor he then puts up a youtube video that was i don't want to say it was similar to mine because the topic was different um but he he addressed the exact same thing that i was talking about he was talking about what he thinks um the societal impact of OnlyFans will be for for men and he also covered um, that video of that chick who was calling her fans broke for not giving her ten dollars in the middle of a recession damn near a depression so he covered that and it was very shortly after I after I uh, made my live stream it was like a few hours after I made my live stream, he put that video up. So, you know, I mean, I was the only person of of my kind doing that type of a video. I was the only person within the manosphere space period that was doing that type of topic, that was addressing it in that type of detail. So for him to put up a video like that it, it told me that he definitely caught whiff of some of my live stream. So there's big players who saw that video, you guys. That's my point. There's big players that saw that video. And if he saw it, I'm, I'm guessing some other big players saw that video as well. That's why I made the guess that it was possibly only fans that reported the video. But it got put back up. The only thing I didn't like is that, you know, it made it look like he came up with the idea first of the video. When in reality, it was me. You know, I don't want the white boys getting credit for what I did first. I would like for me to get credit. But you know what? I, I, you know, I'm not too mad about it or I'm not mad at all, as a matter of fact, because his his topic or his point of view on the subject was totally different from mine. So, you know, as long as the content is different, as long as his point of view wasn't the same, I didn't view it as ripping off of mine. So, that's cool. As you guys can tell, I'm on a nature walk right now, but I want to get into the topic of this video. Let's talk about some tricking in this video. Let's talk about a random topic. Let's talk about street walkers versus online chicks okay what is the biggest difference between street walkers and online chicks well I'll, I'll tell you this is the first difference you guys with online chicks when you first see their picture you know that the, the picture that they put up could be old the picture that they put up could be outdated or it could just flat out not be them at all with street walkers what you see is what you get what you see is what you get okay so if you see a fine ass female out walking the streets and she's selling that's exactly what you're going to get if you see a sloppy a sloppy jalopy uh, Lizzo looking female out on the streets 
you know, that's that's what you get. You know, it's not going to be like online chicks where, you know, she she she's looking like she's looking like an IG model in her ads. You get there and she looks like Lizzo. No, it's not going to be like that with Streetwalker. So that's the first main difference that I can give you guys. The second main difference. Let's talk about pricing. Who's cheaper? I would say streetwalkers are cheaper. Streetwalkers are typically cheaper. Um, Online broads typically cost more money. And my guess for that is because they have more overhead to pay for. Talk about hotels. Talk about cost for ads. Um, Talk about cost to... They got to cover costs to feed themselves and everything like that. When we're talking about streetwalkers, um, look, all they do is just get dressed up, um, go out that night, and, you know, there, there they are. So it's typically a lower overhead cost um, because there's no hotel costs involved. There's no you know, travel costs or anything like that involved. They just get up out of the house and they just go walk the streets. And, you know, all of that money that they collect is there. So typically they cost less. A quick stay for, a quick stay for a girl who's walking, who's working online typically costs about $80. Eighty dollars nowadays used to be fifty back in the red book days, but now it's like eighty. Um, the cost for the cost for a streetwalker, however, for a quick visit, is typically I would find it to be less. I mean, sometimes you can get these girls for like fifty, sixty bucks. No lie, you guys, fifty, sixty bucks. 50, 60 bucks, especially on a good, on a good strip where the street is oversaturated. Man, I bet you on Figueroa, you could probably get a, a, a nice looking one for like 50, 60 bucks. All right. So that's the second difference. Let's talk about the third difference. What do I think is the third difference? Um, the third difference, I think, is the difference in the environments that you're meeting the girl under. Or rather, should I say the woman, because you have some people come to the channel and they accuse me of implying that it's an actual girl, like an underage girl, which I'm not talking about, so woman. The, the, the environments in which you meet the woman under totally different typically when you're on the streets you're gonna have to use your car so if you are going to pick up a street walker make sure that you have a car that's comfortable I I do my my look my car my back seat is very big very spacious but if you don't have a spacious vehicle can be uncomfortable with a street walker with an online chick typically sometimes online chicks do it do car dates sometimes they do car dates but typically they're either meeting you at your house or they have an in-call available so the the comfort level is going to be is probably going to be better with an online chick Okay. Um, another difference between uh, picking up uh, street street pros and online pros is the law enforcement presence. Um, I've been on some great tracks. I've been on some really, really good tracks. But, you know, as soon as the police break them up, 
and the police consistently uh, police the area and scare off the scare off the women. That's it, man. Spot is hot. The spot is blown up. I remember there was one track. Um, it, it looked like a, a dang SWAT team was out there one time. I mean, they they were they were arresting everybody, and I was like, nope, I got to turn around and go back home on this one. So, and so that's that's one of the differences I noticed. There's a lot more law enforcement presence around street walkers. But with online chicks, you know, and I've, all, I, I've stated this in past videos, it's very hard to run into a sting. Very hard. Very hard. You, you have a better chance of golfing a hole in one or getting struck by lightning than getting caught in a sting. I've said that before. Especially when, especially when you're doing an out call, especially when a chick comes to your house. If you do an out call, what you should do is you should give the chick a, an inaccurate address. So, if it is the police coming to um, your house, they'll go to an inaccurate address. You can spot them and you can kind of just fade into the shadows and block their number you know that's the cops so especially with out calls it's, it's damn near impossible for them to 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 sting you on an out call but an in call is hard for them to sting you too that's almost impossible it's a waste of, it's usually a waste of time uh, things are usually a waste of taxpayer money so yeah you guys so those, those are some of the biggest differences I can name between uh, street girls and online girls, or street women and online women. I, I guess another difference you could say is that with uh, street street females, it, it's, it's very feast or famine. It's very feast or famine in terms of where they show up and where they don't show up because one night they'll all be out there and then another night they won't like with with this warmer weather season coming up you know hopefully the COVID-19 don't mess it up out here in uh, Sacramento there is a there is a um, street called Stockton Boulevard Stockton Boulevard is where they be at I ain't gonna lie about it. I've been over to Stockton Boulevard, but there's but there were there were nights where they were all out, best looking females. And there were nights where they weren't out. So I, I think that's a difference from this standpoint. That with online chicks, they're always on fire. They're always out there. With uh, street chicks, it's 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 a it's a very on and off sort of thing. Okay, and also uh, I'll make this final note: the difference between street chicks and online chicks. I believe that online chicks are more willing to give you a chance if you're a, if you're a black male. They're they're more willing to give you a chance because they can kind of talk to you and fill you out. With street chicks, they can see you and deny you on the spot, and usually. And usually, and here's another difference that I'll say. Usually street chicks are, are pimped. Street chicks are pimped. <clears throat> Online chicks are more than likely not pimped most of the times. Most of the times they're independent, but street chicks are usually pimped because either they start out independent and become pimped or they come to the street pimped already. So, yeah, I would say those are the biggest difference between online chicks and street chicks. Online pros and street pros. So you guys can take that for what you will. Uh, that's pretty much my opinion on it. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to this channel.
make sure that you especially like i said share this video sharing the video overcomes the youtube algorithm it can supersede the youtube algorithm we can create our own little uh, algorithm that supersedes it and gets this video more exposure because guys need to hear this information especially if they're going to start trekking all right so i'm pretty much done with this video and remember you guys if you ain't tricking you ain't trying peace <laughs>